Okay, as you might see, the host name has changed because I had to restart, but for all intents and purposes, we are in the exact same position as before. Now, the first thing you want to do is enter the correct details and log in. Uh, and the very first thing I always do is start up BYOBU, which is like a screen type thing, and just get a sudo apt git update. And let this run its course and then upgrade. Yep. And run that. Cool. Uh, at any point, you can press F2 to uh, go into another like shell, you know, another screen. And you can flip back by pressing F3 or F4. Um, it just cycles through them. Uh, so now, I want to know what my DHCP has given me for my IP and I yeah before that you want to change the network down here so that it shows up as another whole computer uh, and it's just bridged adapter yep allow all okay so now if I run that again yeah I'm probably gonna need to re redo that all right I'm gonna wait until um, hopefully that didn't just bugger the update. I think it did. Bollocks. Um, all right, this is what you shouldn't do. <laughs> uh, let me put it back again. Attached. No. Nah. All right. Okay. Is that gonna work? Uh, bollocks. All right. Let's restart. Power off the machine. Okay. Cheat sheet there. Start it up again. Yep. Start that. Alright, so the first thing I gotta do is change the network adapter to be bridged. It's zero level. Okay, cool. Uh, and I have config eth zero. Alright, I gotta reboot so that kicks in doesn't take long. Ubuntu server is amazingly fast. Yep. There we go. I have config eth0. There we go. I'm on 8.3, right? So now get update. God, just keep typing the password in wrong. Once that's done its thing, I probably didn't need to do that because I've already done it. Now get this upgrade just in case. Is there any other stuff? Yep, install everything. All right. Uh, let's just wait for that. I'm not going to be impatient. Um, Actually, I'm going to be patient. I've config eight zero. It's one eighty three. Uh, there we go. I'll pull up a shell. Sh one nine two one six eight one dot eighty three. All right. Cool. Uh, and let's. What was I going to do? Yeah, I'm gonna set it so that we're static at 83. I know that IP is available, so I'm gonna five says EGC says DHCP. Uh, is that right? No, uh, resolve. Not ETC slash networking slash network slash interfaces. Alright, cool. And now we're gonna you want to set static IP. I can never remember this off the top of my head, it's much easier to copy and paste. Here we go. I love this guy, you want to geek, go to how to geek. There you go, just D D D D and um no 
no, not home, end, append, insert, and paste. Yeah, that's why we're using this, sh this shell because we can't use paste with virtual box. And what was it, 83 or at? I think. A was it 86 or 83? 83 is at the top there. Nice. Um, network, not your gateway. Gateway is 1, not 1. Alright. Yep. Uh, and then let's check on that. That's still running. Alright. And supervise CCC says DHC. Resolve. I keep going doing this wrong, hopefully I'll get it right this time. Conf resolve conf d slash tail. I was told that you create a tail. So that name server eight dot eight dot for Google. Uh, now when this is done I will restart. Yep. All right, cool. So sudo, to restart the networking adapters, just do sudo slash etc slash init dot d slash networking restart. Restart the networking adapters. Because I kept the same IP, it doesn't log me out of the shell or whatever. I don't lose connection. Uh, I'm going to reboot because after the updates, need to reboot. All right. Uh, and then this is the virtual box. Yep, there we go. Uh, you can re lock in there again. Just press up for the history. And uh, let's just check. We can ping. Yep, so our resolve.conf is updated successfully. By slash etc slash resolve. There we go. See, it's right there, right there. That was I didn't show you before, but that's working. Yep. So you do create a tail. That's useful. Um, so now we're going to install Cobbler. At yeah, I could type that out, or I could use my cheat sheet of power. Here we go. We're going to install Cobbler, Cobbler Web, and DHCP3 server, which is just. DHCPD or whatever. Uh, you can you can not install DHCP, but I like to have it all in one system. You can set up your DHCP server on another machine and then have that point with the next ser server to whatever that distributes the files, but I think it's much easier and for the purposes of this tutorial to just have it all on one machine. Uh, your Pixie Boot and your DHCP server all on one machine, that is. It's the way I roll. Uh, so, yeah, that do its thing. Uh Don't worry about messages like this, it doesn't matter. Could not reliably determine the server's fully qualified domain name. This is just because I'm not really a proper server. Just my home connection, home machine. All right, clear. Uh, I like doing everything in here. Um, so yeah, uh, cobbler setup, sudo cobbler check. You can do this to uh, check on the stuff. Uh, Debmer is not installed, so I'm going to just sudo app git install Debmer because we will be having Debmer um, operating systems deployed, Debian systems. Yeah. Yep, install more crap. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. So, sudo copy check. Yep, pseudo cobbler sync. And we'll probably. Uh, no, it doesn't tell you, but we need to set cobbler to manage our DC, DHCP too. So pseudo vi slash EDC slash DHCP 
DHCP D dot com. Alright. And uh, domain name servers. Yeah, this is all very nice, but I don't think so. So what I'm gonna just do is yeah, am I in the right file? Yeah, I'm in the wrong file. DHCP. I mean, need the cobbler. Why they call it cobbler? I have no idea. Uh, DHCP template. There it is. All right. This we need to change. To some, if you want Mac specific DHCP, then you need a file like this. Uh, D. We. All right, I don't know what the heck this is all about. Yeah, I don't really care about that. All right, yep, now I just gotta paste it. Oh, God, that's annoying. Hopefully, it'll, no, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool, so just going into there again, that will set for whatever machine has that Ethernet adapter. It'll only apply to that one. Um, create a new host block for each you know, machine if you want. Uh, and that that will give it a fixed address, 192.168.163. If your gateway is 1.1, it might be 0 0.1, or it might be any something else if you're at data center or something, you know, not a home connection. Name servers to Google, you can change that if you want. This, I don't think you want to ever change. It's a Pixie Linux file pointer, subnet mask, you might want to change that. If you know about subnet masks, then you might want to change it. If you don't know about subnet masks, you probably don't. Um, yeah, default least time, you can change these to whatever, it doesn't matter. Next server, this is important. This should be the same as what we're on. So this needs to be. 83. Uh, yep. That is what that's the DHCP server telling uh, the client that's Pixie booting to starting up which server it needs to go to to grab the, the files from TF, the TFTP transfer protocol or whatever. So, write that. Alright, so then that won't actually be in. Ah, uh, DHCP. DHCP. That won't be in here yet. See, this is still the old school. This is actually, that's what the DHCP D daemon or whatever daemon runs on. So what you do is you do sudo cobbler sync. And that just updates everything with all the templates and everything. You'll get used to that command. So now, if you do... Uh, huh. It's just one of those days, isn't it? Should have I? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Sudo. Haven't changed the settings yet. That's why. Should have done this first. So now, uh, change the server. Well, check what the server is. Should be a. One in here. No, no. Next. Next, sir. Yep. This needs to be the same as what you got up here. Same machine. And. No, oh, no, I think, I think that was it. There. So does that one. And then you also need to check. Manage DHCP, you need to change this to 1. Only if it's going to be the same machine, if you can have. So now when I do sudo cobbler sync, it will update the dhcpd.com file or whatever. Hope you didn't just hear that fart. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, sudo cobbler sync. I do that. Ah, oh, maybe I need to do a pseudo couple of restart. 
Coupler. D restart. Uh, is that right? Uh, no, no, all right. DHCP, 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 there we go. See, yeah, I had to restart the coupler process after changing the settings. Uh, and now that updates the DHCP file. So DHCP is now set and coupler is installed. And you can run check and no problems found, all systems go. So that is the end of part two where we have set the static IP. And we've installed Coupler and we've configured it correctly. Stage 3 will be all about adding the distributions. Thank you for watching.